there has been a tremendous increase in both the number of secondary schools and in student enrollment in response to the rapidly increasing number of primary school graduates seeking entry to the secondary level. The objectives of the secondary school education are to prepare students to make a positive contribution to the development of the society and to acquire attitudes of patriotism, self-respect, self-reliance, cooperation, adaptability and a sense of purpose and self-discipline. Among the high-ranking high school institutions, implementing all aspects of the high school objectives is Itumbu Mixed Secondary School. The school sits a few meters from Luanda Market in Vihiga County along Luanda Mumias Road in Emuhaya sub-county. You are here, you are at uh, St. Peter's Itumbu Secondary School. We met and spoke to the principal, Mr. Titus Mwita, who explained how the school was developed with designed and tested objectives that have stimulated its academic growth. My name is Titus Matilde Mwita, the principal of this school. And uh, this school is situated in uh, Emuhaya, sub-county Bunyore, West Bunyore Ward. It is actually a sub-count school. The school enrollment so far is uh, 635 students and it is a mixed school. The school has a total of uh, 14 TS teachers and uh, 12 UM teachers. That one tells you that we are understaffed. Uh, so far, the school is located in a very small area of land. We have a problem of uh, space uh, because it is less than an acre. It's a 0.8 acre that we have. And uh, plus other many facilities. The school is a little young school. It started in uh, 2010 to serve the community. The school actually was to start as a girl school but because the demands it was changed to a mixed school. Uh, the school is run by board of management headed by Dr. Jason Ngani currently by the former was uh, Dr. Wycliffe Oboka. Um, he is also having a very active PTA committee which is chaired by Zafania Ouma. One of the attractions to the school is the modern learning facility developed to enhance conducive learning environment. My message to the community is that they should support us kindly so that the school can grow because it is an upcoming school with a lot of promising potential to grow for a bigger school. The institution boasts of a well-trained teaching staff that has kept the academics curriculum goals achieved every education cycle as directed by the Ministry of Education. Uh, to the Form 4s, we have a candidature of 125 students. I want to mention this school is a three-stream school. We have a candidature of 125 students and our prayer is that um, they all succeed at universities and join other tertiary colleges. That is our pride of a teacher. Uh, the from ones is that uh, it is a challenge, challenge of environment. They have now entered secondary school. There are a lot of expectations from them, particularly pertaining performance. You know, we, we went 100%. 
you can take as low marks as 150. So it's upon the students to, to, to work hard so that they can achieve. Apart from academic growth, the school also participates in extracurricular activities that has also guaranteed additional occupational mobility. We do very well, particularly in music. And we also use a primary school, which actually the field, the, the field, um, the, the pitch. We share with both primary who are very friendly to us. And we go up to uh, county level in participation in co-curricular activities. The school has a well-disciplined community of students who adhere to school rules and regulations that ensure smooth running of school's activities. However, low levels of economic development in highly competitive educational system that pose a threat to occupational mobility is now the reason the school needs more infrastructural and financial support for land expansion, water supply, classrooms, among other shortcomings. Yeah, so far. We have several challenges. As I stated earlier, is that uh, the school has limited land space, owing to the growing number of students, and the community actually had a positive response to this school because we're given as uh, uh, so many students. We have challenges from stationaries. We have challenges from um, furnitures. We have challenges from space in the classrooms. Currently, we borrowed some five four classrooms to be used for our lower forms from the primary school. If you go to the other side, you can be able to, to, to have a look at it. Uh, and therefore, if you, you had, as you entered the school, you saw that um, some projects construction is on. We are trying to get ready for the growing number of student population. For Maisha Prime Education Segment, Maisha Television, Ambushabe Junior.